Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development so guys This will be the 14th part of my video series on how to create an app just like Uber. All right, so guys uh, In my previous video there was an error uh, Okay, so the error was That I did not give the permission of location to my app All right, so if you give the permission in my in your marshmallow then it will work or if you don't have the marshmallow you have lollipop or kitkat uh, smartphone so you will not face the problem okay so guys in this video what we are gonna do is let me uh, in so we will be uh, as we are now able to detect the user current location okay so when the user uh, opens the app or when the user signs in so he is able to see his location on the map okay a marker is there so now what we can do is we can let the user choose his pickup location okay the pickup location can be anything not only uh, specifically user current location okay it can be any location so how can we achieve that so first of all open your main activity main page all right so no okay so here we will go to content main page and here what we will do is we will add a button sorry so we will uh, choose the edit text alright so this edit text we can change the background my shape and let me change my shape Alright, so let's change the height to 45 dp, okay, and change the text to hint, enter pickup location. Alright. or we can change it later and also we need okay so we will not use the edit text we will use the buttons here okay so i will tell you the reason so let me open the button first of all we drag a button here and change the background to okay and change the text to select pickup location and also we need another button so here we will say text will be select destination location and text all caps false text all caps false all right and change sorry text size to 16 sp in sp all right so whenever the user opens the app his location is shown and the address should be set up to this button 
okay so how can we do that so you have to go to your main page activity and here we first of all we have to change a so we first of all say marker current marker okay which means it will point this marker will point to the user current, current location so how can we initialize it current marker and when we are initializing the marker here add marker so here we can say current marker equals to okay so here we can remove we can uh, remove the line and here we check if current marker is not equal to null okay if current marker is not set so you have to set it all right if the marker is not null okay if the marker is null if the current marker is null so it will just uh, um, paste the marker here and if the marker is not null else if current marker is not equal to null so we just say else if current marker is not is not null so we just say current marker dot set position and we say let uh, start let long okay so when the user moves so the location will also be changed and we will set it to 500 interval all right and so now what we can do is first of all initialize the buttons okay so we will initialize it in our next video so in this video we will only set up the user current pickup location so how can we do so here in our so in our own create method so here what we will do so first of all let's uh, we can say geocoder geocoder equals to new geocoder and in here we pass this sorry and we can also pass this and local dot get default okay and we will uh, initialize a address list so we can say my address is equals to geocoder dot get from location and in here we will provide the latitude and the longitude which we want to display the address so we can say start let long dot latitude and start let long dot longitude and in the the, the third pair will be the maximum result so we can pass either one to five okay so we say one we need one address so it is saying an error so we have to uh, catch the okay so here we will uh, catch the error so how can we catch io exception so we cut it and we paste it here and after that what we can do we can get the address my address is dot get zero dot get address line and in here we will pass zero all right and also we can say string city equals to my address is dot get zero dot get
locality all right and we have to um, paste that in our button so we initialize our button here so first of all let's see what is the id of this button button four okay so here we say button before source source button before source button and we initialize it here button 4 all right and what we can do here we can set the button text to be full dot set text and we set the text to address plus a space and city all right so guys let's run our app let me open the mirror go application so that i show you the output All right guys so now the app has crashed so let's see what is the uh, issue okay so here is the issue uh, it's not we are not getting the latitude and longitude so what we can do we can cut it and we can paste it here all right so now let's run the application and let's see if it works or not sorry guys I was very busy uh, in my office work so I could not make the videos so still it's crashing yes why i pasted it here i don't know so what we can do is we can paste it here all right so now let's run the application and let's see okay so now as you guys can see it is now displaying the location address here okay so in my next video what we will do is when the user click on this button so he will be able to select his pickup location and when he will click on this select destination location button so uh, the he will set the uh, location uh, of the his this destination okay and so we will be working on google maps direction api all right so guys if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe thank you goodbye